So my name is Bill, and I am a co-founder at Dial. So how many of you are from the Seattle area? I talked to a few of you before. This one, okay. So there we go. Three people. Awesome. Okay. So we know who really won the Super Bowl, right? Very nice. There we go. That, that was probably a yeah, big crowd leader. Okay. Well, great. So now that I really have your attention. Uh, so this all started about two years ago. So I went, is this the... Okay. Oh, awesome. Okay, cool. So this started about two years ago. So I had just gone out of high school. I was really excited. And some friends and I, we drove down to California. And while we were traveling down from Seattle to San Francisco, we were taking these pictures. And um, there was just something that I thought was missing. And I thought, you know what? What if it was cool if you could create these, these interactive experiences? And what if you could feel like you were there? And so we saw, you know, we went down like the Oregon coast. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Preview, hold on. Not yet. Hold on. Okay. Um, so we went down the coast and we saw these, uh, you know, these ocean waves, all these cool things, went to the city, saw this cool traffic and stuff like that. Um, but now here I am two years later and I want to revisit, I want to feel like I was there. And so right now we look at the current social media and there's a lot of, um, you know, a still photo or a looping video. But there's nothing that really goes beyond that. There's nothing that really puts the experience in a user's hand. And that's what we wanted to change. So I... And two of my co-founders from Seattle, we created this app. So essentially what you're doing here is you're capturing like the first of photos, and then you control the speed and the direction with your finger. So if you want to go really fast, you go really fast. If you want to go really slow, you can go really slow. And so these are kind of these moments, these experiences that make us feel like we're there. And that's what we want to do with Dial. And so, um, yeah, and so with that, we, right now we're in beta, and we have, here's the team. So there's three of us. Spencer is my co-founder on the far right. He is from the Seattle area. He's the old guy. He's 32, so he's the old one. Right? Yeah. I am the old. Um, and then Sammy is the designer on the far left. And so we're all from a small town uh, just outside Seattle, about an hour outside Seattle. So there we are. That's our team. We were in San Francisco. So here's what you guys can do right now. That's really really exciting. So how many of you have cell phones? <laughs> awesome. All right, let's pull them out. This is the interactive part. So if you pull out your phones, you go to dialapp.co.co. Can't afford the .com, too expensive. But you go on to the .co, you put in your email, and we can send you the beta. So it's kind of a little complicated process, so through test flight. Um, and if you have uh, an iPhone, it works really well. If you have an Android, it doesn't work so well. Um, but you can go through test flight, you can go through beta, and you can give us some really great feedback, because that's what we need. Um, so yeah, I think that's that's that style, guys. Oh, oh I can demo live, actually. So there's traffic. I this. I feel like I'm there in traffic. Um, here's somebody in uh, Amherst who's using it. Um, somebody, this is in Washington State, uh, and that's the water. So it's kind of this fine interactive way that kind of feels more than a photo. Yeah, go ahead. So, obviously, the thing you like to photograph is Sure. How many photographs do you take? Great question. I was waiting for that. That's excellent. Okay, so you're going to about that. So, right? Even for yeah, I did. Yeah, so the question was, how many photos And what's the duration of the Excellent question. So you can actually adjust it. So I'm going to press this button here. And so I can adjust the shutter speed. So how fast it's taking. So if I want like a time lapse, I can make that happen. If I want a really quick burst, I can make that happen too. And then I can adjust how many photos I want. Uh, like I want to myself or something like that too. So just like this, you take one. There you are. You can smile. There you go. Hey, yeah, you got it. There you go. There he is, right there. So you can see. Uh, there he is. <laughs> So that's how we did it as a capture, and um, that was like a quick burst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, um, so can these photos only be viewed in your application? Yeah, so um, right now, yeah, you have to capture it in the app. Um, Isn't that an exposure in terms of longevity? Does so it look like pictures? Sure, yeah, so you're, you're capturing like 20 photos, and then you're controlling the speed and the direction between the two. So you could use like uh, you're actually the camera on your phone, yeah. but there's no way to share that with your friends. And that's what we want to do is we want to change first to part and make that exciting. Well, what I'm thinking about is five years from now, sure. are your photos still viewable? Oh, yeah, yeah, as many as you want. Yeah, so all you do is you just click on your name and you can just see, like, the only one I can see all of my dials that I've taken for the last year or two years. Okay. Yeah, of course, yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to work on a great question. So uh, right now, uh, we actually we actually work at Whole Foods every day. So this is true. We work in the grocery department. So if you guys are uh, in the grocery department at Whole Foods, we can get you guys out. We all work in the fruit area. Uh, so that's what we do during the day. And then at night, we do this. So um, 
Once we get better jobs than that, we can be a good version. But right now, it's just going to focus on iOS. Uh, just yeah. Do you find the Explorer as a GIF or a Photoshop? Uh, yeah, so you can share it on uh, other social media, like Twitter and Facebook. But uh, we're trying to get back to our app. Oh, there's a new one. Yeah, I did that a lot. So how do we do that? Um, so essentially what we want to do is if you look at your phone right now and look at it advertising, it's a video and an ad for pictures. We want to change what we're talking about. We want to make it interactive. So imagine like a car racing around the track. You would control that with your finger. If you're four, you would be that. Or imagine a football fly. And so the revenue model is once we get users, then the advertising will pay using that for ads. And so the people that are using it right now are athletes. A lot of athletes use it like swing analysis, like uh, runners, baseball, basketball, football, whatever. Um, and then realtors use it to show like three systems in the house. And the inside can do that. Um, it kind of has this more direct feel to it. So we didn't create it for those people, but they use it. Um, so we kind of have a lot of people that use it. And it's packed. Well, here's, if I'm watching a movie and I'm just watching like this, I can't control it with my finger. So if there's something like a small detail, something I want to miss, you know, for a regular record, it's like, why is that window here? I can easily go back and control that instantly with my finger. I don't have to like rewind and just watch something. Um, it's more of this immersive experience. That's what we're trying to do. Okay. Yeah. The video has sound. Yeah. So yeah, it's, well, it's basically these are interactive pictures, essentially, as part of it. And we can add sound. Uh, but right now, these are the pictures. So. So. Yeah? Are they on the same length, or can I create a really long? Yeah, exactly. Then you can just so 